Hello guys, another video from my car as usual now on Saturday talking about something around dev career. And topic of today, let's talk about side projects. I see almost every developer has their own side projects in their early days or more later in their career, but I see the wrong reason for those side projects. So I see usually two types of projects. One thing is some kind of idea which in the future should make you money or maybe you would be able to quit your job or quit freelancing and work on your project as the first type of income so that's one type and then another type is some kind of social function so things that you want to exist but they don't exist yet so examples of those could be Dries Vint's uh, Blade UI kit or Laravel IO forum so some idea that you want to exist and you want to release that but there's another reason to create side project and I don't see enough emphasizing of that is to try something new, try some new technology, try some new ways to code something, try some pattern, try some deployment procedure, anything you want, automated testing, CI, CD, whatever you want. And this is related to one of my previous videos last Saturday, and I'll link that in the description below, where I talk about the scenario that the company doesn't really allow you to try new things, to take care of the quality of the code, to refactor enough, you can try it all out yourself on your side project. So you may still have some kind of idea behind that, but focus on technical side, on technical experiments. And also as a side benefit of that, you would have that on GitHub. Of course, if you publish that to GitHub, you would be able to show that to potentially future employers or clients. So you would be able to show that you have experience with something, although you don't work with that directly at your work or on your main project. And I also tweeted a meme recently, which became pretty popular with like hundreds of likes. So it seems like this topic resonates with a lot of you who deal with some legacy code or older versions of the frameworks and technology at your work, at your main project. And this is totally natural. That happens, the code gets old. Some companies don't want to invest in upgrading. And that is kind of okay from business perspective. So how to get out of that is to create some kind of side project or a few side projects, and then you can experiment however you want. Now you may question, why would you need to spend your leisure time, your free time on coding if it doesn't benefit your work, it doesn't benefit your company? So why would you do that, right? And the answer is that you're not doing that for the company. Sometimes in some cases you may experiment with something and then suggest to the managers or to teammates to implement something like change the framework or some function or some package but more often than not, you're doing it for yourself, for your future career. In the future, it may open a lot of opportunities for you for new jobs, new partnerships, new freelance gigs, or whatever. So this is my advice, create side projects. They don't have to be big, but they have to be potentially intentional enough so you would want to experiment with something and emphasize it in your project. And if you publish the project, you may say that in the readme. So this project is to showcase something, something. What do you think? Is it a good idea? Have you yourself, have you created any side project which benefited you in the future that you experimented with something and then you would be able to advertise that as your skill? Shoot in the comments your examples and see you guys in other videos.